Hey guys, in today's tutorial, we're going to use Affinity Designer version 2 to create a shadow around your objects. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel for more Affinity content. Alright, as you can see, I'm using the desktop version of the program, but you should be able to come along, follow along with iPad as well. Alright, so let's create some objects just a simple shapes to start with. So I got a triangle and there will be also a circle. As you can see, I hold shift to maintain the shape proportion while drawing them. All right, I got two shapes. Let's change this color, not the stroke color, but the fill color. All right, so you may be aware already that you can apply some shadows from a layer effect panel so if i select the layer with the ellipse with the circle i can click fx below here it will give me this pop-up window with layer effects and there's a special effect called outer shadow if i turn this on i will be able to change the radius radius is kind of the size of the shadow you could say offset this will move the shadow in a certain direction we can control this direction with this angle tool below. All right. And then is also the third slider that will make this a more intense, sharper, more bold, less blurry. All right. So now it's totally, it's like a shape. It's not blur at all if you put it on 100%. Okay. So the last thing will make it more intense. There's also the first slide that I didn't mention, that's opacity. So we can also move it to 100. And this, in this case, it will get the original color. So this is black right now. And we can lower that down to get like soft shadow, all right? So we can do it with this layer effect. And that's of course very handy. In addition, in version two, they add this option to apply multiple layer effects of the same kind. Can you see this plus button here? If I click that, I will duplicate the outer shadow and I can set up two different shadows like that. Like you've got two light sources and they're like two shadows. So that's uh, very handy and this is available only in version two. All right, so that's nice. We can make a duplicate of existing effects, by the way. Take a look, if I reach 100 pixels on the slider, whatever is offset, radius, or in, you can override that 100 pixels from the keyboard. So I can type 200 and return enter key. It's apply, as you can see, the shadow is moved 200 pixels. So even though the slider end, we can always override that from the keyboard. So that's handy, all right. So that's one way we can apply drop shadow using delay effects. There's also inner, sh inner shadow there. So let's explore that as well. Let me just rotate this. All right, let's use the same thing. Clicking on the layer and then FX below. And there's also inner shadow. And as you can guess, in this case, we will create a shadow, but inside the object, not outside the object. So first thing radius, we can offset that of course. We can control the offset with the angle and we can make it more intense. Everything's the same here. I didn't mention that we can also change the color of the shadow. That also can be used from here. Keep in mind, even I change the color of the shadow to be, let's say blue. All right, we got blue. It's not really very blue here because the blend mode is set to multiply. If I move to normal, then you can see the blue shadow inside. By default, it's multiply. All right, so that's a very, very similar thing, but the shadow will be drawn not outside the object, but inside the object. So you can apply those shadows simply using FX, using layer styles, layer effects. But we can also create some shadows ourselves. So if there's a shape, we can duplicate this shape. So I can right click on the layer and select duplicate. With the copy of the layer, I can turn the color to be, let's say black or darker than the original one. Let's move it below. So just drag and drop below on the layer panel. And then we can scale this and apply 
a blur effect ourselves. Again, let's use the lay effect, but this time not to create shadow, but to blur this shape. I can blur this black copy of the shape. And then we can control the opacity from the layer panel. And we can create a shadow manually ourselves. The best part about doing this ourselves is we can control the shape. So I can modify the shape. I can make this a shape squeeze down like that. And I can put it below to have some kind of 3D like shadow. Or maybe like this. All right. So we can control the position and the shape of the shadow. We can control opacity from here and also we can modify the blur level. This is undestructive. Take a look. I can move it back to zero and that's a shape again, vector shape. So that's something we can control back and forward. So that's a really handy trick. As you can see, if you combine this with, a, let's say, gradient fill. So let's try some simple gradient fill, radial gradient from here to there you will get this 3D like vibe from this one. So we can create a kind of fake 3D effect using shadow, right? Because our human eye perception will tell us, all right, this is some sphere, but the shadow is like that. So the right light source is here. So here it is. We can use another shape as a shadow for any given shape. You can use similar trick with text as well. So let's try with the text layer. Crew Mark, that's the name of my channel. Okay, let's apply some nice font, maybe this one. And let's say my text is all in, in red this time. So let's use red color. By the way, you can switch between those sliders and the proper wheel just by clicking the hamburger menu here at the corner. Take a look, sliders. I like to use sliders, but I know many of you stick with wheel, so you can move between that. All right, here's my text. And now again, I can duplicate the text. Let's duplicate, but this time using a shortcut. I will press command and just drag and drop this here. Instead of moving, I make a copy because I press command on my keyboard. All right. And now I can use this copy as a shadow. So let's make it black. Let's apply some blur. And reduce opacity. That's all we need to mimic shadow. And now if I keep it somewhere like here, of course, need to be below this giving us the vibe like, all right, there's some light source here something hanging in the air and giving the shadow to the wall. Of course, we can modify that by changing the shape of it. So I can squeeze this down like we did before and put it like under the shape. So it's more like a 3D, like this is like flat below the letters. So you can experiment with that. All right, so today we learn how to create some simple shadows of your objects. There are two ways using our fx so you can actually press on the object go to fx you can apply outer shadow from here and you can apply inner shadow from here another way is to duplicate the object and simply create a black version of that object with apply blur on it and use that as a shadow manually all right i hope this tutorial was helpful as i mentioned I post tutorial like this very often weekly. So please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and I hope I will see you in my next lesson. Bye.